Hey guys, Michael here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have another uh, Robin Hood dividend portfolio video for you. And, uh, you know, this past week has been crazy. You know, the past two weeks pretty much has been crazy for the stock market. We've had some good days and we have some bad days. I mean, we have some really, really good days. Uh, I think my portfolio for the past week is up like 16 or 17 percent or something like that. Um, you know, I sold some stocks, I bought some stocks, uh, I captured some dividends, you know, just doing, living the dream basically. But look, anyway, listen, we're going to go ahead and take a look at my Robinhood dividend portfolio right now. Guys, again, thank you for tuning in for another video and smashing that like button like you already did. Oh, you didn't smash it yet? Hold on up. Let's, let's, I'll let you smash it up. All right, thank you. Anyway, you know, this past week has been real, real crazy when it comes to the stock market uh, and the economy in general. We had a lot of stuff going on. You know, this week coming up, um, well, this past week, they started sending out stimulus checks and all of that. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, ups and downs over the, the next couple of weeks still with the stock market, I believe. I don't believe uh, we're hitting that uptrend fully yet. I think we still need to buy dips while we can, guys. <clears throat> and listen, before we get into the portfolio, check this out real quick. This is an ebook I wrote on credit. If you guys want this free ebook, it's Understanding Credit, the five essential factors that make up credit and what credit bureaus look for when they're scoring your credit. If you want this, leave me a uh, your email address in the comments. If you don't want to leave me your email address in the comments and make it public, I totally feel that. But what you can do is go to my Instagram right here. Follow me on Instagram. Or if you don't want to follow me there, just send me a DM and I will uh, get back with you. All you got to do is send me an email address on there and you'll get a free copy. And that's it. And guys, if you want to check this out for free, all you got to do is go in the description. Click the link uh, that says Dividend Robinhood Portfolio Spreadsheet. And you'll be able to check out the spreadsheet absolutely free. And if you want to copy it as far as like how I have it set up, go ahead and feel free to do so. But yeah, go ahead and do that. Also, you know, we got links to Robinhood for free stock, links to Webull for free stock, links to uh, Acorns, and links to M1 Finance for some free money when you sign up. But enough of that uh, chit chat. Now let's get to the real deal of this video right here. Now that we're in the phone, <laughs> now that we're in the phone, Guys, listen. So my portfolio is three thousand seven hundred twenty-three dollars and fifty-nine cents. And just this past day, well, you know, Thursday, because Friday was a uh, good Friday. And by the way, guys, happy Easter. Hope you guys had a great Easter. And hope you guys are staying safe out there. <clears throat> but anyway, so over this past day, I uh, shot up four point four seven percent plus another half a percent after market after hours on uh the week i am up 15.36 percent which is 495 dollars and 82 cents and on the month i'm up 3.57 percent which is 128 dollars and 38 cents three months though i'm still down 16.34 percent which is 727 dollars and 43 cents but we are not worried about that because why? Because we know the stock market is volatile and we know the only way that we lose money is sell. But you guys know I sold some stocks. Well, you don't know, but you're gonna find out I did sell a stock. And there's a good reason why I sold it um, because I was being an idiot <laughs> when I bought it. But uh, anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. So guys, check this out here. You will see I have one, two, three, four, Five stocks, Washington Prime Group, Aflac, MPW, Realty Income, and Pfizer is my only stocks right now that I have green on. And frankly, I'm happy to even have any green on here. You know, I'm not worried about having all this red on here because I'm still collecting dividends from most of these stocks. The only ones I'm not collecting dividends from is Ford because they cut their dividend. Uh, they actually seized it. They, they stopped it for now, but I'm not worried because I do believe Ford is going to be able to shake back from from everything that's going on. Let's go to Pfizer and see 
what's going on here. So I own 6.05 share. No, I'm sorry, 6.045604 shares, which is $218 equity. Average cost is $35.55. Over the past month, it has gone up. Well, this is pretty good. Over the past three months, it obviously, you know, came down or whatever. I should have got more, but you know how that goes. Um, on Thursday's return, it was $9.34. My total return though is $3.62. So I wasn't down that much to begin with. Next we have old realty income. I own 2.559626 shares and I have a pending uh, dividend coming from it for 29 cents for owning 1.22 shares. I own, uh, it's 3.98% of my uh, portfolio and it's $57 my average cost and it's 57 something right now which this is not bad see how far it went up it went 27 percent over the past week that is crazy wow I didn't realize that so uh yeah it's not doing too bad you know I definitely want to add a lot more money into this which I'm, I'm do plan on doing so as you can see here MPW I'm up 91 cents uh, this has actually been a real, real good stock for me uh, over the past couple years. Um, I own seven shares, which is 3% of my portfolio. I'm up 0.9, uh, sorry, 91 cents. And my average cost is $18.16. As you can see, it fell quite a bit over the past uh, three months. But over the past week, it's up 23%. Next, we have Athlac, three shares, $37.74. And we are killing it with this one <laughs> at $1.00 one cent um up you know not even a whole percent on there and washington pride group the really the only reason i'm up on this one is because my average cost is 37 cents the only reason is that is because i reinvested the dividend on this bad boy but this is a stock i got from opening a free stock from whenever you guys signed up i actually got two free stocks from signing up from one of you guys, two of you guys signing up from it. So if you want a free stock and you haven't started investing yet with Robinhood, go to the link in the description, click it, sign up. You don't even have to put no bank information in it. You could just get this free stock and uh, I'll get a free stock with it because as you guys know, this channel is not monetized and you guys using my affiliate links below is a way that I can gain a little bit of compensation from you know these videos or whatever. But if you don't wanna do that, cool. Click the other links in the description for the free stuff I have in there. Okay guys, so big deal here i bought delta airlines i bought four shares of delta airlines and i sold them uh over the past week and i bought them around the same time warren buffett bought his and i thought i was doing a good thing but me coming to realize that they cut their dividend i, I didn't they when i bought the stock they didn't cut their dividend after i bought it is whenever they cut it so What's going on right now with the whole virus, them cutting their dividend, them possibly going into bankruptcy in the next few weeks or months if they don't get this, uh, you know, bailout from the government, which they probably will. But I just didn't want to risk it. So I ended up selling it because I could use that money elsewhere, especially because I'm, I'm not wholeheartedly in this stock like I am with Ford. Even though Ford cut their dividend, I won't sell my shares of Ford. But anyway, I sold this and I reinvested it elsewhere into the portfolio and I'll show you where I did in a minute. On April 6th, I bought one share, AT&T, for $29.03, which brought my average down to, let's see, $35.26. Now I have owned seven shares, 7.05 shares. I'm still down, but we will shake back. So next, on the 6th, I bought one share of Coca-Cola at $46 and 12 cents, bringing my uh, average cost down to $50.44, which uh, now own 10.06 shares. And I'm only down about 2%, which isn't bad. This should shake back over the next following weeks if we don't see another major drop from the Dow in S&P 500 or any other crazy news from, uh, you know, the whatever's going on up there on april 8th i bought one share of aflac and this is a newer position in my portfolio i bought a uh, another share for three thirty six dollars and five cents which brand brought my average cost down to thirty seven dollars and seventy four cents now i'm up a dollar 
we killing it with Affleck. So also on April 8th, I bought uh, $15 worth of S uh, SPHD, which is about almost half a share, about 0.48% of a share, which brought me up to uh, 17.45, 17 share, 17.45 of a share, you know, whatever, which brought me down to $36.38 per share, which is great. I'm, I'm happy to be that, that far away from 40. Uh, I'm still down about 10%, well, 9.83%, close enough to 10%. But I'm not worried about it because this is a great ETF to own. Uh, I actually made a video about it. If you guys want to check it out, uh, go to, if you guys want to check it out, go to my investing playlist, it'll be on there. Next we have O, Realty Income. Again, on April 8th, I bought, uh, what is it, $23.95 worth, which is close to, again, half a share. Now I own 2.55% or 2.55 shares. My average cost, I brought it down to $57.62, so I'm a little bit ahead with it you know, 29 cent dividend coming, which will be reinvested. So I should have a little bit more coming next time. Ford, I bought, let's see, I bought two shares of Ford, a little over two shares of Ford for $12.51, which brought my average cost down below $8. So I'm now at $7.89, so now I own 69.55 shares. Hopefully, whenever they reinstate the dividend back, I'll be able to start busting up a little more. I'm not putting as much money aggressively as I was into Ford because they cut their dividend stock. I'm just doing it, you know, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, adding, you know, one or two shares to this port, to, to this, this stock. And the two dividends I got paid April 9th, I got paid $1.62, voting six shares of MPW, which is 27 cents a share, and I will be reinvesting that dividend. Also, because I owned AGNC, I also got paid a dividend of $2.11, which is 16 cents a share at because I own 13.209796 shares. So real quick, I want to go to my upcoming activity and show you guys um, my dividends I have coming for the following month or so. So right now, uh, as of April, I captured uh, SPHD at $1.89, Coca-Cola at $2.87, Iberia Bank at uh, $0.94, cents. I have a MPW coming in at $1.62, and AGNC coming in at $2.11. Stag is coming in April 15th for only seven shares of Stag. I'm getting $0.12 cents a share, which is $0.85. Cents. For owning... Oh, realty income, I'm getting 23.3, I'm sorry, 0.233 cents a share, which is uh, 29 cents. So it didn't show, you know, my other share I have on there, but it will next month. So guys, that's pretty much what's going on with my portfolio. As you can see, it did shake back quite a bit and I'm very uh, happy that it did, that I have at least some in the green. But like I said, if we don't stay in the green, you know, forever off. They don't all come in the green very, very fast or quick enough. I'm not worried about it. As long as I'm getting dividends coming from these stocks, I'm okay. I'm happy. Once they cut their dividends, that's when I have to reevaluate. Should I keep this? Should I take a loss? What should I do? As should you guys. Look guys, that was my portfolio. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new here and you haven't uh, hit that red subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. You can, so you can join this little family we have going on. And I just want to say for those who did subscribe, those who have been commenting and liking and just really <laughs> helping this channel grow, thank you guys so much for what you guys are doing. Um, you have been helping us, you know, helping me. I run this channel, I film, I edit, I write everything. I pretty much, this is, I do this by myself and you guys help out a lot. Just, you guys help me keep going, um, pretty much. So thank you guys so much. I want to try to get to 500 by April 30th. I know we can do it. Guys, share, share my videos, comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos, guys. And look, stay safe, stay quarantined, and uh, y'all have a good day.